Devin Lerett has made an announcement that he is cancelling the upcoming East vs West 13 105 kg title match against David Dadikian. Let's discuss the news in detail. A couple of days ago, Auden uploaded a training video with Devin Lerett which was titled as I am your Beowulf. And now Devin uploads a video titled I am Grandel. I had not watched these movies so I went for a google search and I found out that Grandel was someone who got killed by the hero Beowulf. So is Devon already thinking about handing over the torch to his son Auden Larratt? Well I don't think so. Because Auden is still probably at least 5 years away from defeating Devon Larratt and until that moment comes organically we shouldn't even think about it and I don't think that Devon is thinking about it. Devon also changed his profile picture to a photo of a candle. People got worried so Devon had to clarify things and this is his statement. Guys apologies I should not be so cryptic. It's just a picture that I like. A funny metaphor and a few more things. But nobody is dead, nothing bad. Appreciate you guys. So one thing is quite clear. Devon is not in a mood to compete anytime soon. Maybe he'll take a 6 month break, maybe even more. And this is the reason that he gave to cancel the Dadikian match. I don't like to disappoint people. I love to be involved with arm wrestling. As I look forward to the match, I look at where I am. I look at everything in my life and the base is not there at this time. Not today, not today. It's not clear whether he is talking about the base as his physical preparation, his structural integrity or some emotional kind of stuff that he is dealing with right now. It can be both. And that's why there are two ways of looking at it. One is the purely emotional one and the second one is a little bit more critical. So let's discuss the first thing. Devon has been the most active professional arm wrestler in last couple of years. He has competed in some 15 or 16 super matches in less than 2 years. In one and a half years to be honest, that's including the left arm matches as well. So competing so frequently, especially when you're doing that for the first time in your 3 decade career, it can take a toll on your body and your mental health as well. And we also have to keep in mind that Devon lost a left handed match against Kamil and now a right handed match against Levan. So he has two back to back losses as well. But mostly people seem to be appreciative of the efforts that Devon has put up to entertain us to win the super matches that he's been winning. So everything is cool. Everyone is saying that this is the much deserved rest that Devon clearly needs and there is no problem. We are not mad that the Dadikian match has been cancelled. The second way which is the more critical way of looking at this situation is 105 kilo category is not a cakewalk for Devon. I mean Devon was the one who himself said that it's just an easy water cut for Devon and he can just show up and win the category without even training for it. So what happened now if you can just show up and dominate everyone then probably not having a, a solid base shouldn't be that big of a concern. And another thing that people are saying about this situation and I tend to agree with it completely is maybe Levan broke Devon mentally. I mean when he was asked where he's going to break Devon, he did put that pointer on Devon's head as well and looks like that's what he did. Just imagine if Devon won against Levan and he was still the super heavyweight champion. In that case can anyone say that Devon will cancel this match? No he wouldn't. He would happily try to become the 105 kg champion and hold 3 titles at the same time. That thought of cancelling this super match wouldn't probably even cross his mind. And that's the proof that the recent match with Levan is probably the biggest reason why this match is cancelled by Devon. And he himself agrees to it. That's why he said that losing to Levan was like having a miscarriage. And he doesn't want to carry another baby in such short amount of time. He needs more rest. And there is one more question that is arising right now and that is should Devon's 115kg title be taken away from him due to inactivity. I think it should absolutely be taken away from Devon. But this is a topic that I will discuss in the next video. Before that let's discuss Dadikian's replacement match possibilities. If the match is still happening at 105. 
I honestly don't see the reason why he should defend it so soon because Devon has not defended his title in well over a year. So maybe Dadikian can get a choice to compete at 115 if he wants. But if the match is still at 105, then it should be if Guinea Prudnik, if his elbow is healed up. If not, then maybe we can see a rematch against Todd Hutchings because Todd should definitely get his rematch because he was the title holder before the Dikian. If the match is at 115 kilos, then maybe Ivan Matushenko because changing the weight category to 115 kilos does not suddenly increase the pool of arm wrestlers that we are available with. We still have a limited number of people who can challenge the Dikian. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like the video and subscribe.